of my namesake. Let me therefore, your majesty, enjoin you to ensure the implementation of your declaration or what I call the speech from the throne. As far as I'm concerned, as a Fulani man, as a Thief man, I will continue to play my role to ensure peaceful coexistence, development, and progress of our people. Your Majesty, I listen to you complain about marginalization. I believe you can recall when I was Vice President, the Thief Nation was more than adequately represented at the federal government level. <laughs> Your Majesty, I want to stand before you today, this afternoon, and to stand before the entire Thief Nation to pledge my total and complete and devotion to the cause of the Thief Nation. You are a professor of education. Your Majesty, I have listened to your speech where you made education as a paramount subject you would like to advance. I want to further implore you to ensure that no single thief child is left out of school. No single thief child is out of school because you are a professor of education and you know what education means. It is one single attribute that can bring about human development. And human development is the most important part of any development. Your Majesty, let me once again congratulate you on your ascension to this historic throne and to assure you of my loyalty at all times. Feel free at any point in time to send for me. As I was driving from Makadi to Boko this morning, I saw more than 10,000 kettles. Uh, first of all, I would wish to we felicitate with Ochiviri, His uh, Royal Highness, Professor James Otesi Yozua Ayate, and his lovely wife, the mother of the Chief Nation, Her Royal Majesty, Mrs. Yeah, Dr. Mrs. Yeah, Felicia yeah, Hembadon yeah, Ayatsi. Uh, we are very happy over this God given uh, leadership and uh, we expect so much from him. We know that he will transform the chief nation, given his uh, uncommon futures, his temperance, he's a well educated person. He's a God-fearing man, and so we know that we are in the right position, and we know that he would lead us well. And we know that um, a lot of issues and challenges that the team women have will be attended to, because he's a father that loves all, and he's a father that has respect for every individual. So we are hoping, and we have full hopes, that the chief woman will have more dignity and respect under his leadership. Well, from you, I'll take that and I'll get to the bank of Well, we've just heard from the first lady of Benue State, the wife of the governor, Mrs. Eunice Oso. Well, she knows or she feels that under the newly coronated Tutsi, the chief woman and the Benue State woman at large will Your definitely have a voice in the conduct of the affairs, both in the Father traditional institution as well as the governance and even in the home. It is the coronation of Toti the fifth 
we continue Professor the vaccination. James I'd like to Ayate. at this point in time recognize the Governor Professor of James Ayate has been coronated as to the fifth year at the JS Tower Stadium in Boko, the seat of the team of traditional council. Well, finally, it is the Governor himself who is joining us. And well, uh, a little bit of a fracas here, but uh, we'll sort it out in a moment. Your, Your Excellency, you have the real privilege of coronating a new paramount ruler of the Tiv Nation. You're the governor, but he's your royal father. Now that you have coronated him successfully, what agenda will you be setting for him as far as the institution of traditional rulership for the Tiv Nation and for Benue State at large is concerned? Well, for us, uh, I already set an agenda, not just for the Tiv Nation, but for the entire Benue State, that we must lead with the fear of God, we should usher in transparency, equity, fairness, justice, accountability, selflessness, integrity in all that we do. And I believe that the Toti we have installed today has the capacity to give us all that we need. And I trust in his ability because he has been tested and trusted. He's a Christian and uh, he has served here as university vice chancellor. Uh, then at Katsina, Nigeria, 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 of the This is the chairman uh, of the Nigeria University. Governor's and we trust in him. He has been tested of, uh, and he's a trusted person to give us what we need. He's a Christian. Okay, well, now and what then will happen to the core traditional values that may be at variance with Christianity? Well, you know that Benway said is a Christian. The two people, 95% of them are Christians. So it is easy to translate. We are not talking about the culture. Our culture is there. The ones that conform with what the Bible teaches. And we believe in that. We have dedicated the state to God and we trust that Everyone leading should also have their treatment. Thank you very yeah, much, yeah, Your yeah, Excellency. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that is all for the coronation of the Totiv, the traditional ruler of the Tiv Nation, Professor James Ayesha Totiv V. I am Charles Eruka here live at the JS Taka Stadium, Boko. On behalf of Channels Television, thanks so much for watching. It's back to Lagos for the rest of our broadcasts. Executive Governor of Benoist State. This is a live channels television event. The conversation begins with actions, actions that draws reactions from the soul.